I'm gonna go home. If I All right, guys. Last day. We just got done. We still got one guy out there. The fluffy gamer. He's not leaving. He's been sitting here for 48 hours. He's not leaving. He doesn't want to miss it. But he said he's buying something. It's going to be the very last customer. What's he going to buy? Look at him. He's actually coming. As you, as he's walking in, you can actually see the concrete collapse. <laughs> I'm here to put a few more cracks in the concrete. Yeah. A few more showcases to break. Okay. So are you gonna be the last customer, bar last customer bargain hunters? I am. Yeah. Are and then you I, filming me? Then I, yeah, I'm filming you right now. I need to sign a waiver. No, you, we can't. We don't have a waiver big enough. Oh. <laughs> hey, who wants to ring up the last customer? I'm gonna tell you guys All right, go ring up the second. fluffy gamer. Hold on, let me change. Oh, no. The last transaction. Bargain Hunters Thrift Store. This is a good friend of mine. If you guys haven't subscribed to his channel, go to his channel. Where's your channel at, Fluffy? Fluffy Gamer. On YouTube. What, can you say a little bit more depressing so we don't all have to bang our head against the wall? Fluffy Gamer! Okay. On YouTube. <laughs> so check him out. He's been a customer since 10 years. Long, long time. Presented us with hundreds of stolen credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually have to use your own one this time, right? Uh, I might pay cash. Wow. Well, he has to because it's going to be three ninety nine. dollars Like you guys? I pay cash too. Nice. Yeah, I like it. And then we 50% off $2.14. Woohoo! Retirement, here it comes! <laughs> this is what it's all coming down to, folks. The last transaction, $2.14. Cheryl is here, working hard. Working hard. Mama Rosa. Didn't kill By her. the way, that scarf she did not pay for, she just stole it, hoping I don't notice. Oh, she, she worked hard for it. Quit. <laughs> so he's giving us $3. I assume he's tipping. Yeah, don't give him any change. No. Tell, tell him to sue us. He changed. Kitchen. Send the paperwork to the store. What, what, what did you buy? It's the last transaction of Bargain Hunters. I bought my very first laser disc of one of my favorite movies. Nice. Back oh, to the future. future. Too. Yeah. Don't give him the change. He's rich. <laughs> 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 so that was the last official transaction. Okay, this is what I have to say. I quit. You quit? <laughs> I take this job and shove it. I quit. <laughs> well, it's not a job you own it, so. Uh... Man, I never worked so hard my whole entire life. This has been one crazy week. All I have to say is thank you guys. I appreciate um, all your business over the years, all the fun stories growing up with your kids. And I'm exhausted, so thank you, thank you. And thank you for playing my game of buying the cheese grater, the spiralizer, the ceramic knife. How much did we do today? Yesterday we did 8,700, which was crazy. And today wasn't even that busy. We've been averaging the last 30 days, like, what, over four, five thousand dollars 5000 I was here yesterday, and you guys were so busy. I saw a line yeah. check out, like, all yeah. the way over there in the back. It was yeah. crazy. That was and the longest like, we ever had. And I was, like, telling everybody, buy the cheese grater, buy Talked the cheese She was done. She was like, I'm done with this. All right. Well, yeah. today we had a lot, we had a several rude dealers and stuff, and they yeah. always try to bully you. $4,498.27. Nice. So $4,500 in the last day. And, and so. look, Miss Cheryl. Let's go to Vegas. Let's go to Vegas. So, Cheryl won the raffle with the guess how much Cheryl we do. Gets the yes. award. Yes. Look at and it's the best award I could ever get. And it's with oh, a 12 God. pack of Coca Cola on the bottom. So that is oh, my wow. favorite. Yeah. Miss Cheryl doesn't drink water, she drinks soda. Yeah. <laughs> There's water in here, isn't Just, there? <laughs> There's water she in drinks water. one or two bottles a day. Like that she's living is amazing. It's true. <laughs> I know. Right? It just shows you what it can do for you. I know, I'm gonna water. I'm gonna give you guys a store tour. Well, what's left? So a lot of this stuff we're gonna sell to Rommel at Empire Thrift. He's coming to buy a lot of the stuff. We're just gonna give him good deals. Um, some of these showcases are still for sale. Look at Dustin still working hard back there. It's just uh, probably about to break something. Um, the chances are fifty-fifty. Dustin, be fair. <laughs> what did you find? Cards. What is it? Oh, Marvel, nice. Yeah, Super good ones. Oh, you know what? That's actually a really good card. They are the best to say, I think. Oh, those are Shacks. Those are Shack rookies. Yeah, they suck. Checklist, 92. And then I think th this Marvel with the symbiote, actually, I think if that grates high, it's pretty good. Spider-Man, yeah, for sure. Uh, that's cool. Hey, good job. And if the hollows are in there. I probably put, no, not just that regular Spider-Man card is good with the symbiote. Yeah. I probably put that away a long time ago when it wasn't worth anything. It's on the shelf over there. So yeah, so we have a guy buying all these. We'll keep the shelves. So his crew's gonna come. They'll have this room done in half a day. I'll show you guys the rest what's left. You know, these records. So we started with like six, 7,000 records. And remember when all these smarties on YouTube were saying, your record's overpriced. We're down to under 2,000. And we constantly kept on restocking. Yeah. 
Yeah, the Casey put these up there with that knife. Let's roll. He wants to go play poker. <laughs> so, we've been breaking stuff down here. Remember, all this wall used to be all toys. And as the sale was gone, we just kept on restocking, but everything has been selling. You know, somebody bought, all this stuff is gone. We still have a bunch of clothes, but they'll all be at Empire Thrift. There's actually a lot of good stuff. Uh, all the starting lineup, somebody bought everything yesterday. All this stuff right here. Still toys. So, these cases somebody bought, I finally broke down. They made me an offer, I can't refuse, so I sold those. Oh, remember all these toys back here? We already cleaned these out, so we're like way ahead of schedule. <clears throat> and then all these, like, all these are gonna go to Empire Thrift. There's like a thousand pair of welding clubs in there. Hey Cheryl, do you know what's up there on those boxes? Yeah, me and Casey had looked at them. They're, I think there's some knives. I don't know if they're not the ceramic ones. Maybe the other ones because they got the. Uh, they're not the black knives. They're Jackson's too heavy. Writing on or Chinese? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, they have Dustin go look really quick. Because okay, yeah, Casey. Because when I tell Rama, I need, I need, he needs to know. Right, right. Baby pillows, baby pillows, pest rejects. Yeah. The two XL shirts. Sell shirts, gray, and then mm. down on the end is a scrubbers, rubber made scrubbers. Mm. I sold all this pallet racking, even though we'll need it for the warehouse, but we're gonna buy it all matching pallet racking. Hey, Dustin, can you go up there see what's in those boxes real quick? This extension ladder, a lot of CDs, a lot of brand new hats. You just totally forwarded on YouTube, forwarded. You German pride, but we're American. <laughs> I know, I wore Deutschlandia socks. Very nice. Deutschlandia. How did you get those? Your mom. Oh, your mom, mom, mom bought them? Yeah, your mom. Rest in peace. On the last day, I wore German socks. Okay, let's pack up all the carts. We're obviously not leaving there in case our thieves come back. You know. So we've been cleaning out here. So we're keeping all these, obviously, because actually these go for like 40, 50 bucks on eBay and I have hundreds of them. I can't believe nobody thought blue purse. The blue purse is cool. I just realized something. What? I'm going to need a laser disc player. You got one? <laughs> actually, laser disc players are just going up in value when you see them pick them up, especially the good oh, really? modern ones. The, the ones that kind of came at the end. Okay. Yeah, my dad sells them all the time. <sighs> so... A lot of these tools, we're just going to sell to Rommel. We have another room that's full of tools. These lamps I'm going to take for eBay, but a lot of these tools, I'm just going to sell them. I'm just going to give them a good deal. I don't feel like packing it. All this right here is one tool, Astronomatic. We're going to keep it. There's actually some other stuff in here, too. Oh, we took the ham radio gear. So we'll break it up. These showcases, if you guys watched this, they're still for sale. So now today, to, what's today, the 22nd? Yep. So we have eight days, we have 23 days to clean this up, which is not that much. Uh-uh. Where's the tub to put the... And we, uh, it, well, I'll get it in a second. Okay. So, anyway, Fluffy, what, what do you have to say? Any any final comments? Uh, not too much, but I'm definitely going to miss coming over here. Yeah, but you're uh, gonna come to the warehouse, right? Oh yeah, for sure. I you, always like seeing what you get because you're always getting stuff like all the time. Fluffy will be one of the few VIPs that's allowed to know where the new warehouse is at. Well, if you send me some money, I'll give you the information. Okay, Fluffy's <laughs> not welcome at the warehouse. <laughs> so guys, Let me tell you my story. I always tell you, you do not want to gear your business towards dealers. So we st the last two weeks we did everything, um, actually not even the last two weeks, only about a week, a little bit of a week, we did 50% off before that 40% off. And we were actually gonna go to 60, 70, 80% off. But I'd rather give a good deal to my friend Rommel. And the reason I didn't, even when you start doing 50% off, you attract all the dealers. And the dealers bully you, they were bullying Tatiana today. They're bullying me too. I yeah. 
They come in like they think you broke. They think we're going out of business. The reality of it, we're going to make a video what really happened with this whole deal when it's done. Where is George when you need it? <laughs> George will take care of it. But so one guy came in today. He's, he came in like probably seven or eight times the last two weeks. And every time he comes with these brand new hammer chisels that we have, we sell them for 20 bucks. On eBay, they sell for like 30 and he's like, hey, um, what kind of deal can you do? And I'm like, they're half off, 10 bucks. That's a good deal. I literally sold hundreds of them. If you guys watch our tool videos that we did, we had a lot of them at, at one point. And he's like, well, I'm going to melt them down for scrap. I'm like, okay, well, that's your problem. But I don't want to melt them down for scrap. If I'm just going to sell them for scrap, I can take them for scrap. You know, it takes me an hour worth of work. No big deal. And he's like, I'll give you five bucks a piece. I'm like, no, they're 50% off. So this was like, he asked me at least 20 times. What's that sound? Something is running. Oh, somebody plugged in a pump and just left it in. People are funny. So, uh, sorry guys, I'm tired. So I told him, it's like, look, I don't want to sell him. So the day he comes again, okay, are you going to take five bucks now? And like, he doesn't even ask friendly. He's just like really rude about it. He's an older guy. And of course, his car outside, brand new Lincoln big old expensive navigator, you know, but he thinks that like we're broke or he bullies us. And I told him today, I was tired. I guess I'm like, look, you asked a question 20 times. I told you 20 times. I don't want to sell him for five bucks. I don't care. I'd much rather sell a Dorama and throw in something good in for him. And uh, then he gets all mad. He's like, well, but you know, what are you going to do with it? And you know, it's money. I'm giving you some money. I'm like, I don't want to sell him. And then he goes, I saw he's like, Pff! and he's like, fuck. I can't even say what he said, but you guys get the idea, you know, cursed me out. And then he was all upset, so... But I'd rather throw it away than sell it to somebody when they have that attitude. That's just a fact. So, um... That's why I tell you guys, do not ever, ever gear you... And it's not that all dealers are bad. There's a lot of dealers that are smart and they're good. You know, record dealers are some of the worst, to be honest. Uh, most of those guys are usually a pain in the butt. Um... But, uh... They want to pick, like, they feel like you owe it to them. People come in, it's like, hey, if I can't five times more money on eBay, I can't make any money. I'm like, okay, well, I wasn't, it doesn't say anywhere here, eBay wholesale store. You know, uh, if it's super valuable, I can put it on eBay. Wait till the videos you guys got come see, going to see coming up with the stuff that we're doing. I mean, we have amazing eBay stuff coming up. So, um, and those guys just bully you to try to be rude to you, to try to attack you. And that's part of the tactic. You know, so, you know, if a dealer's friendly and stuff, I'm willing to work with them some so they can make some money. If they want to come in and spend $10 and get a $200 item, I just tell them, I'm like, look, wrong store. I mean, I'm sure we sold some items like that. I can't check everything, but we try to pay attention and check a lot of stuff. So do not build your business geared towards dealers. I see people's like, well, I'm just going to try to wholesale and quick flip. Quick flip doesn't work. Quick flip is a pain in the butt. And it's just not fun. You know, you be, it's almost like working at like a fast food job where they treat you like crap or whatever it's just not fun you know make your money trust me guys we're not closing down because we're hurting we're actually having the best year ever of business we're just building a warehouse buying a warehouse for eight hundred thousand dollars four thousand square feet um we'll have a video coming out in two or three weeks where we explain everything that happened so uh we're having the best year ever you'll see our ebay videos we have so much exciting stuff coming soon once this warehouse closes which is probably a 60-day escrow, 45-day escrow. I don't know. They have to do all kinds of inspections and all kinds of weird stuff. So my, my agents handle that. Um, but then we're going to start doing a video a day, guys. And they're going to be fun videos and good videos. But I, I try to share information with you guys. I try to share knowledge. Do not build your business around wholesaling you other dealers. I don't know anybody that's successful in the long run, in the long run. And most of them hate their life. So, And that's why we decided not to do 70%, 80% off. Because, frankly, we don't need the money. And we just don't want to deal with it. So, you know, anyway, God bless you guys. Fluffy Gamer. This dude is a really good friend of mine. Do me a favor. Even if you don't like him, most people don't. <laughs> <laughs> if you care nothing about video games, don't worry about it. He doesn't even review them anymore. No. Nope. Yeah. So he's just. All, all I show is all my out of print DVDs that I, that I find out in the wild. Actually, if you have a low budget and stuff and just want to, like, this dude takes every day $2 items and turns them into 20 30 bucks. Doesn't yeah. sound exciting, but if you do it 10 times a day, that's a two $300 a day job. And then, that's it. And then sometimes he gets bigger scores, right? He got $100 DVDs oh, and yeah. stuff. Oh, so yeah. you want to watch his channel. You can even learn more stuff. I so a, a movie, uh, Blu-ray hey, Find an empty basket. Called Ticks. It's like a horror movie. Yeah. Rare out of print. I found it for 3 bucks. Sold it for 130 Ticks. 
Tex Rare out of Brent Horror Movie. Yep. So three bucks to 130. So watch this channel. You can actually learn a lot of cool stuff. I mean, TV, DVD hunting to me is boring. But if you want to make money, like I'm at a different level, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Oh, stuff. you're on a way higher level. But we get a lot of people watching this channel that say, hey, I just need to make extra money. This guy can teach you a lot of weight. We'll pick up extra two, three, four hundred dollars a week, maybe yeah. more than that, depending every, on how you score. Week I show pretty much most of the finds that I find out there. Yeah, it's worth watching. You know, guys, knowledge is power. Yeah. And, and I um, do the same thing. I watch other people's channels to learn more about other stuff that yeah. I didn't know about. I watch your stuff, and now when we do the warehouse, I'll probably pay a little bit more attention to DVDs too again. But I just don't have time. You know, I try to do other stuff. But there's like we all taking steps in the resale level. So um, yeah. Anyway, check out his channel. He's a super cool guy, and. Uh, God bless you guys. We have so many cool videos coming. Now we need to work. One last crack. Hey guys. <laughs> this guy won't leave. Like he did the last checkout like three hours ago. Pro Pro property? We, we gotta close no matter what. You know that, right? I can stay here until he starts tearing the game. <laughs> I guess you could. Look at the bargain hunters. Should we take the signs off? This one is kind of faded, but I think we should take that one. Yeah. That's oh, we can hang it in the warehouse. In the warehouse and it kind of be a cool backdrop. I mean, it, might, it might be too big for the studio. No, it's 4,000 square feet. Once we add the mezzanine, it'll be 5,000. And we'll take this right here. That'd be cool. Yeah. This one unfortunately faded. So we don't need it. We'll take that one. Last pallet going in. Sports card case is cleaned out, guys. Unless you want to steal uh, new kits on the block. It's okay, I got another 50 boxes somewhere. Actually, I don't. I think I have two or three boxes. So, no, nah, I just leave them on. Okay. So, I don't know. And hey, guys, this is bonus footage, by the way. And when I said earlier about dealers being rude, I just don't want to deal with it. It doesn't bug me. I'm used to go to swap me, and I deal with those guys all the time. Nothing more pushy than dealers at six o'clock in the morning and starting unboxing you boxes, even if you tell them not to. But it does irk me a little bit when they do it to Tatiana or to Casey or my employees. Then I get like, right. you know, that's when I get the negative reviews on Google. The owner's not that nice. I'm like, yes, bugging us 20 times. Eventually we told you to take a flipping day. That's right. You know? My ride home. But, huh? My ride home. You prune? Yeah, she's a witch. <laughs> but guys, think about this. So we probably average, you know, on seven days a week when we open, we probably average 200 customers a day. And some days less, and obviously Saturday, Sunday would do five, six, seven hundred sometimes. So two hundred customers a day, three hundred sixty-five days a year, almost ten years. So thirty-six hundred fifty days. Let's just say thirty-five hundred days. Um, so times ten, what's that? Thirty-five thousand times a hundred would be three hundred fifty thousand. Then we say two hundred average would be seven hundred thousand customers gone through. Wow. And I think on Google we have like what? Eight or nine negative reviews. That's pretty damn good, right? Outstanding. Yeah, I'll take it. And it's usually deals. Like our first negative review, I still remember on Yelp. I was so upset it actually bugged me. This guy thought he was buying $2,000 speakers from us. And then he tried to return them like a few weeks later when uh, he couldn't sell them on eBay. And then he wanted to return them. I'm like, we don't do that, you know? He's like, well, I couldn't make any money. I'm like, we're not here to finance you. And so he did a chargeback and left us a negative Yelp review. So <laughs> that's funny. That's why I never try to gear my business towards dealer, and you shouldn't. If you gear towards dealers or resellers, you will never make money. You'll be broke. It's the worst thing you can do. Amen. So, yeah. you know, same thing. If you call sell a collection of stuff, you want a guy like me to come in that pays you for everything. There's a lot of guys like that. If you get the guy coming in where he says, oh, I just need a few pieces, all he's going to do is pick you best stuff. Usually they're super friendly. He'll pick, you, he'll pick you best stuff, and then you get stuck with all the common stuff. Then you get a guy like me coming in. And it's all common stuff, and we'll just tell you, hey, all the good stuff is gone, we won't buy it. Or we'll give you, like, next to nothing. And then the only way we'll buy it is if we have a retail store. But most likely we won't buy it. So if you have a collection for sale, keep your good stuff. Don't don't cherry it out because you want to make money. All right, what are you trying to alarm, Cheryl? Let's bounce. You guys take a day off. I got to go film. Okay. Doesn't sound fair, right? <laughs> I gave him a donut. You gave him a donut? Oh, yeah. He ate four earlier out there already. It's, it's dark. I can't see you. Uh, Fluffy made Casey cry. I did? What do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry. I don't think I can see. I know. Casey cried because Fluffy was like, oh, it's like cheers. It's all over.
<laughs> so. Sorry, close. Uh, Casey was like, uh, I'm not sad until Fluffy opened his mouth. I'm like, I told you not to communicate. I told you. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> All right, guys. More videos coming soon. Don't worry. This is a weird day today, but this is just the beginning. We're going to make so much more stuff. Um, the next three years, I don't really want to be in retail, to be honest, because my daughter's 14 and a half years old. I probably have three years until she goes to college, so I just want to do online. Unless we do like a baseball card shop, I might do that in a mall, something small, a thousand square feet. Super killer security. And uh, just a little bit easier to run with inventory, easier to buy. I just want, I want to be able just to order for the store and then just kill it online. And you know, we have plenty of money saved up and stuff like this. So the next three and a half years, we'll still buy and sell, but more online. And then I want to do a lot of vacations and spend the time because in three and a half years, my kid is gone. And then Casey will beat me every day because she'll be cranky. And I don't know. And we'll start new adventures. It's kind of funny. When, when that pay phase now, we're in our mid-40s. And we're kind of hitting that second phase of life, you know? So it's kind of funny. I'm just sharing feelings with you guys because some people like this. And I'll give you the thoughts behind it. But like I said, a lot of people think like we went out of COVID and it's like we're killing it. It's just, it's still emotional though. Anyway, you guys wave goodbye again. This is bonus footage. Casey, wave goodbye. I don't know if they can see you. Fluffy, stop eating all the donuts. Dustin, bye. Bye. We'll make more videos. I, I told her like 67 minutes ago to turn on the alarm, so I don't know what she's doing. She's cleaning it. She thinks there's customers coming tomorrow. There probably will be. We'll just won't let them in.